Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Guitar Loft. I'm Justin Johnson. And I um, wanted to talk to you about a cool new amp that uh, I've had a few days to get to know and I am loving it. It's from the folks over at Positive Grid and they recently sent this to me. This is the Spark Amp. And I've been hearing about this amp and uh, it's got some really cool features. One of the things that I noticed first about it is uh, basically looks like a portable amp. It's small, it's compact. Um, and when I heard it was 40 watts, I was really surprised. You know, it looks like, a, like it might be a 40 watt head, but it's actually got the speakers built in also. Um, but what is so interesting and what's cool and what I've been having a lot of fun exploring with the Spark Amp is that they have their own uh, ISO app, their own like mobile device app here that it just, uh, it takes the, the idea of a modeling amp and just, you know, goes crazy with it. It's awesome. So you can actually select all kinds of different amp models, all kinds of different effects. Like you set up your pedal board basically like you would in the real world. You know, you select your amp, select the pedals you want, uh, delay, modulation, reverb, compressors, uh, noise gates. And um, then you get to adjust all the settings on all of those uh, different pedals as well. And uh, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a, like for example, the tone I'm using right now is a, a setting, you know, basically a tone that I saved. I designed this um, and it, it's kind of just to simulate what I like, which is generally like a nice sort of blues rock uh, juke joint kind of vibe. So I called this setting juke joint, you know, and this is what it, it sounds like. <laughs> And so what's cool though is, um, you know, just as if I had all of these pedals and in this amp right in front of me, I can go in here to the app and let's say I want to, uh, I want to get a little bit cleaner sound. I've got a drive pedal right here. Um, I can turn the overdrive up or down. So let me, let me just, uh, mess with this knob while I play. <laughs> So here's a little bit cleaner. I just turned the overdrive down a hair. See, I want a little more overdrive. I turn that up again, just like as if the pedal was right in front of me. And uh, it just sounds, it sounds so authentic. You know, the sound quality of it, both coming out of the speakers in the room and um, just, you know, if, if I were to plug into the headphone jack here, it just, it, it sounds very organic. I'm really impressed by the tonal quality of it. Same thing with the delay, like uh, this delay, for example, here, I chose, like it's, it's a tape echo simulator. So I like the sound of tape echo. It sounds really analog and warm. And I've got a real quick slapback echo. So it's just like, da, da, da. If I turn the volume up, you'd be able to hear the echo a little bit more. Let's say I want that a little brighter. And I'm, I'm exaggerating it so you can hear it here or you can get darker. But let's say you want a different type of delay. You double tap that pedal up at the top and you can go through these different, you know, simulations of these classic delay sounds. So here's a, a digital delay. And so let's say you've got this digital delay s selected, but you want the delay to tap on quarter notes and you want to tap the tempo of it. So right now it's set to that. But if I go to time and I set this so you can set it on that beats per minute or um, it'll go with milliseconds or you can go with the tap. So I'm going to select a quarter note. I want it to tap on the quarter note and then I'm going to tap the tempo one. One, two, three, four. So let's say I want it to go like eighth notes now. So now it's twice as fast. So it helps you, not only can you go with just timing the echo out 
to uh, what you hear with your ears, you know, you can also tap it in and it will listen to you basically and you can, you know, play to the beat of the song. So again, I'm gonna go, let's do quarter notes and... Uh, It's awesome, you know, because you don't have to think too much. Once you once you learn how to how to tap it and learn how to put in your rhythms here, it's very intuitive. It's the whole the whole platform here is really intuitive. So one of the coolest things about this platform is that if you haven't familiarized yourself with, let's say, a ton of different guitar amps, a ton of different guitar pedals, you don't know the difference uh, off the top of your head between the sound of a digital delay or a tape delay. Um, this is a great way for you to be able to f start familiarizing yourself with what all of those differences sound like without actually having to go buy that piece of gear. So let me uh, try a few different amp heads here. So I'm going to double click on the amp up at the top and uh, let's start with the Silver 120. <laughs> To turn the delay off so that we can hear the amp more. Okay, here's the silver 120. Let's try the black duo. Next one. I love that. That one sounds tuby. It's got a nice, like, kind of squishy tube feel too. Let's see. Let's try that AD clean. It's got a nice kind of crunchy rock sound. That's already making me play differently too. Let's go with the next one that's uh, Match DC. Let's see, the next one, Tweed Bass. And so on. You know, you have all these different, uh, let's see how many amp models they have. 30 of them. So you can go down 30, and that's just with amps. And even when you go into the amp, let's say you, you really like, I like the sound of that black duo. Once you selected it, you can change the knobs on the actual amp to fit your uh, settings, you know, what you want. Let me add a little more uh, treble there, and maybe a little less less gain. You know, maybe I want a swampy vibe uh, with the slide guitar. So I'll do this, uh, I'll start with this black face duo, get a kind of a clean tone, maybe dial that treble back a little bit, and then let me go to the uh, modulation and try out a, a little tremolo. So I'm gonna double click on that modulation. Now we've got several different tremolos to choose from. Uh, vibe, univibe, vibrato, phaser. Let me just try this first tremolo, see what that sounds like. <laughs> different tremolo sounds like. See if we can get more of a uh, more of like a vintage vibe. Let's try this one right here. Yeah, I like that one. That one sounds warm. Make it a little more subtle. I'm going to turn that depth down. Turn the speed down a little bit. And again, let me get uh, let me get a little less crunchy. So I'm going to go to this uh, tube drive that's on, and I'm going to turn that tube drive down somewhat. Turn the volume up. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I just love it. It's so fun, you know, and not only does it sound great, not only is it good for uh, recording and, and for jamming, it's got great, like I said, it's, it's louder than you'd think it would be. So, you know, I, th I think this could easily, in a practice setting, uh, keep up with a drum kit in the room. You could still hear what's going on with the guitar amp. But, you know, for me, one of the things I really am enjoying the most about this is that it gives me ideas. You know, it gives me ideas that maybe I wouldn't have otherwise because even if I had all of this gear, even if I had a lot of this and I was using the gear that I normally use, like some of these pedals, some of these amp models, um, it takes so long sometimes to switch between analog gear that by the time you actually plug in a whole different setup, you've kind of lost the idea you had to begin with. You know what I mean? And so uh, this, you can do it so quickly that it, it kind of puts you in that ballpark and in that space you want to get in creatively so quickly that you still have the idea and the inspiration that made you want to go there to begin with. On the other end of that, if you don't have any ideas, you know, this is, this is one of the things that I've been doing lately. If you just want to come up with something new creatively that you, maybe you wouldn't ever think of to begin with, then uh, I'm going to click up here to the top and I'm going to go through some of these... Um, some of these genres and some of these presets that they've got in here and uh, see what like uh, I'm going to click on alternative and uh, let's go. I'm going to click on number one here. Spooky melody and let's see what that sounds like. So, that's already given me ideas, you know, in, in, in a different musical direction just by hearing what I would play based on that tone. Awesome. You know, like I, I had no idea I was about to play that until I clicked on that. And let's say I like that. I like that tone, but I want to get a little bit heavier with the vibe. I'm just going to turn on the drive pedal now. See how it's, it still has the same vibe because it still has the same gate, compression, amp, modulation, delay, reverb. All I did was I added that tube drive pedal in there and I did it that quickly. And so I'm still there creatively I, and it's just awesome. I love being able to do this. And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> it's got an entirely different platform on here that allows you to practice music too. So you can actually take a song off the internet and let's say you want to play along to a song that's on the internet or on, uh, you know, your Apple account or on Spotify, anything like that. And it will not only let you play it through this app and pull it up, but it'll also tell you the chords to it and you can play along to it. If you don't know the chords, it's pretty crazy. So let me, let me see if I can pull that up here. So I'm going to go down here and click on that music note right at the bottom of the screen. And that pulls up this whole different platform. And uh, I'm going to go up in the top right, hit the search button. I'm going to search for, let me search for my song, Loose Change. That's uh, Justin Johnson, Loose, oh, it's already up there. Click on that one. And so this is a 12 bar blues uh, song. Let's see how uh, it pulls up the chords for it. So it says it's listening basically right now. And uh, 
So it's processing the song. You can see this bar, uh, th this uh, bar right here is filling in. And let's see what it comes up with. This is awesome. All right, it's got this drum intro. Yeah, it's got all the chords here. This is crazy. So E. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's crazy. It even shows the chord changes up here at the top. It shows the video you're playing along to. That is really impressive, you know? So this is, I mean, this, I wish I had this when I was starting to play guitar because that's one of the things when you're first learning is that it's difficult to find people to jam with. It's difficult sometimes if you're playing along to a song to know how to play it, you know, unless you go out and get a tab book. I mean, you can look it up on the internet, but the fact that this does it in real time also, it helps you follow along with the chord changes as you're going. And the fact that you can basically use any song that's on the internet or any song you have on your device, it's just such a cool idea. And like this would be something in and of itself like a program that I think would be incredibly useful. But the fact that this is just comes with the amp and it comes with the uh, all of the amp uh, modeling is, is just uh, really great for not just for beginners, but I mean, especially for beginners starting out and having this kind of knowledge about gear and this kind of gear at your fingertips and these kinds of tones and effects is just uh, so killer. So I want to say, uh, you know, uh, thanks, first of all, Positive Grid for sending this out to me. I really enjoyed checking it out and uh, enjoy sharing it with you guys. Um, and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure if you like this, subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.